Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Dublin Parches new employee place of own fine craft ales. If you haven't met before, he survived the heat wave of last week, and you certainly won't find him in any leadership contest. It's a real famous next Prime Minister, Alan <laughs> Parches. I reckon I'd win it. <laughs> I would, I'd win it, I understand, I'll tell you now. Like, you would in data. Uh, this is my brewmaster, brother. They parted. Yeah, and I'll, I'll be uh, Chancellor Checker or something like that. Oh, good God. Can you imagine if he was? Yeah. Oh, dear Lord. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> uh, welcome to DMP. Yeah. Uh, you're probably familiar with this now. Yeah. He makes beer kits. Yeah. We review them. Yeah. Tell you what they like. Yeah, we're doing, Dave. What are we on tonight, then, bro? A range of beers from across the bar, bro. Uh, <laughs> we're going to start with those guys from Dudley. Dudley? Yeah. Who, who's that, then? It's Dark Rock Brewing. Bathlands. <laughs> and they do Bathlands Ale. Bathlands is also a black country ale. Now, we, we, we keep going backwards and forwards in now. It's pronounced, isn't it? Yeah. Bythons. 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 It's spelled Bathlands, but um, yeah. So it's an all grain kit, one of these big boxes from Dark Rock. Here we go. Yeah. yeah where's the dish grip? Here we go. Look. Gold, we've done it before. It's one of our it, winners from last year. It is one of our winners, and we liked it. It's a pale gold, fruity, sweetish bitter with a hoppy finish. Uh, Bythons Bitter is a massive favourite in the black country and for good reason it's good light refreshing session beer perfect for any session, session. beer good session beer right man uh, before okay. we taste it we want to go outside by the wizardry and watch how I made it it's going to be some editing here see you later hello everyone and welcome back to the Dublin Partridge the place of own fine craft ales and welcome to Brew Day yes we're brewing two Bathams Bitter from Dark Rock I'm going to try and do two batches of Bath & Bitter all in one go in the Grain Father S40. Obviously it's a 23 litre kit, so we're going to have to reduce the volumes a little bit. We'll explain what we're doing as we go on in the video. Right, I'm going to get mashing. So that's the first batch stirred in. What I've done here is I've added 30 litres of water to the Grain Father. And uh, I'm hoping that's going to be about right to... Um, mash this in it does say 17 liters per batch so i'm going to try with 15 liters per batch and see how we get on right i'm going to get the back the second bag stirred just stirring the second bag in making sure we're getting no dough balls in there just a nice steady pour of the grain <coughs> the water's mixing in fairly well with the grain and it all well mixed in just keep stirring, and stirring, and stirring. So we're a good halfway through sparging. As you see now we've got a nice recirculation going. And I keep that up for another about 20 minutes I've got to go there. I've got me uh, got me sparge water eating up in my Pico. I've got 25 litres in there. I should have about 30 according to Dark Rock, but we'll see how we can go, see if we can get this machine filled. Uh, stay tuned. So we've finished mashing, we now need to sparge. This means lifting the grain basket out of here. Now don't forget, we've got two lots of grain in here and 30 litres of water, so it's going to be heavy. I'm not going to be able to do it from the floor, so I'm going to have to stand on here and lift it out. Here it goes. Oh yes, that's it. There we go. Now we can start sparging. So the most common way to sparge is probably use your, your ladle. And just pour the water in on the back of the ladle. Sparging the grain. And just keep doing that until you've added all the sparge water. Also, in the meantime, I'm going to turn the grain fiber up to boil. So, as I'm in this water, it's also bringing the temperature up of the wort as well at the same time. Right, a bit of a major problem. I tried adding too much sparge water, we had a little bit of an overflow. I've got the machine set at 103 degrees, it's climbing slowly, I'm going to put the lid on there in a minute, but I then had to take the grain basket out, and I think I've done, said, done this before in the previous video, and put it into the Pico uh, to drain the rest of the sparge water into, 
I'll then fit that to um, sparge water back into the grain file and top it up to the maximum it'll go to, which is 45, 46 litres. Okay then. Our rocks instructions are fairly well detailed. The packets are labelled. Uh, when to add the ops, what times. Corresponding um, A, B, C, D on the packets. So it's fairly, fairly straightforward. We're just waiting for the uh, wort to come to the boil and then we'll start by adding pack B. Right, as you can see we've got a nice controlled rolling boil. I've just added the uh, next load of ops, pack C, to the op spider. And what you want to do also at this point, and what I'm about to do in a second, is add the wort chiller. It's got about 15 minutes to go and this will help sanitise the wort chiller. So, all done. Got the uh, two fermenters filled, transferred, wort chilled to 23 degrees. Let it chill a little bit more naturally, then add the yeast. Now I'm going to start cleaning up. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're back. We're That's back. how we made it. <laughs> oh, I hope he edited that in. Uh, <laughs> I said right. right. <laughs> that worked or not, it's a different matter. <laughs> right. right, let's try some beer. <laughs> let's try some beer. It's a very short video though, bro, wasn't it? Yeah. Quick, quick two minutes on how we stick. Make beer. Make beer. Oh, you go, sick, you'll have to get around that. Now, we have, we have tried before, so there's no getting away from the fact it is a 10 out of 10. It's the silver winner of all grain beer kits last year. So, see if it tastes. Oh, it smells as good as I remember, bro. See if it tastes and smells as good as I remember, because obviously we did it in the grain father and we did a dual kit of this. Right, okay. So, obviously, there, there's two corner cakes all out there. Drink. Uh, I'll tell you what, the smell alone, it just reminds me of everything I like about it. Right, nice, it's like citra, hoppy, it's not overpowering that you can smell the hops in there. No, well, I'm getting a good citra nose off it, isn't it? Oh my god, he's got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> right, cheers. <laughs> is it as heavy as a bit as you remember, bro? Oh, it seems to be for me, bro. That is fantastic. Oh, light straw coloured. Lovely oh. refreshing. Which is just what it says on the box. Session beer. That is lovely. I'm going to go banging straight in there with a 10 out of 10. Well, we know it's a 10 out of 10. It's an award winner from it's, last year. It's 10 out of 10 again. It's 10 out of 10 again. <laughs> even when you did it in the grandfather, even though it's a dual batch, it's turned out just as well. Just as good. Just as good. No difference, I'd say. No difference at all. Fantastic beer. Fantastic Love beer. Love that. Love it. And, okay. and I'd just like to point out, these beers are fresh on the bar. We haven't tasted them. Sometimes we, we sneak taste, don't we? Sometimes we sneak taste. Fresh this in video, tonight. The last video, uh, we had not sneak taste. Fresh in. Um, Fresh in. Now then, because you've made it again, yes, love. and it's an all grain kit, yes, love. and we both agree it's 10 out of 10, yes, love. does it go on the list? Go back on the list of the 12, well, no, it's not the 12 all grain beer kits for Partridge, you know. It's the 2022 all grain beer kits for Partridge. Oh, he likes to keep changing things. Get me on my toes. <laughs> I changed it last time. I know you did. But now we've got, because we've got about 14 beers on there now. I might have to be on your side. Well, this is your side, you see? Yeah, 15 then. <laughs> yeah. And we'll keep doing it, like I said, and at the end of the year, we'll have a dark, best dark beer, best light IPA, best whatever. Yeah. And you saw our... Uh, we'll bulls and wards out again. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Stay tuned, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, <laughs> don't want to miss that, because it might be coming uh, at Christmas. So, don't want to miss that. Subscribe. And right. um, where are we going next, Andrew? We're going again to Dark Rock. Stay with Dark Rock. Right then. This, this I'm guessing, is a part rain kit. Part rain kit, mate. Okay, so it's in a slightly smaller box than the last one. Yep. There we go, look. So this is Sunset Red IPA. Yeah. Is this one of their newish ones? Yeah, this is from their uh, summer range. Yeah. So I think it might be a limited edition. If you ain't got it, get across there. It's a limited edition, I think. It's a limited edition, I'm sorry. Get across there, get involved, because they're not going to have it. Why not last one? Uh, Sunset Red IPA has a delicious malty background provided by roast malts. These are matched to Galaxy, Citra and Simcoe hops to provide a big hoppy burst of flavour and aroma. Uh, malt, uh, ca what is that? Carid malt? Could be. Ensures a full body, malty aroma and deep red colour. I just follow the instructions and make them. He just makes them. He makes me read them. Yeah, yeah. You did read them. Thank you very much. Right, I'll do the drinking as well. Right, get <laughs> yeah. So... It's exactly what it says, it's a red. It's a red bee. It's a red bee. Do I pro can't pull that? 
You probably can't see that on the video, but it's a nice it red. It is red, color. and you probably can't see it on the video. It's, it's very clear, it's very nice. I can see me, I can see your nick through that. In, in fact, it's one of, like, a bit similar to one of my friends, Ed. The African sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Phil. <laughs> Oh, a good strong malty Ooh. nose. Yeah, but not not nasty malt. No, I like sweet in there. Sweet, rich yeah. caramel malt. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm. I can smell that. Oh, it's it's a sweet shop almost. Yeah, thing, isn't it? it? Oh, I'm going in. Going in. Cheers. Cracking, absolutely cracking. Oh, door. That's 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 awesome. Yeah. That reminds me of something else as well. Mm. So you get the lovely sweet maltiness, and it's over, comes over nice and balanced, a dry hoppiness. Oh, these are the tongue. It's quite complex. Dance, for a part dancing break, yeah. with different complex flavours. Just like you say, it's, it's the first tasting. Yeah, that's quite a sweet beer. Then you then it moves along, and then it gives you that big dryness on the end of it. Yeah, it? really dry on the end, yeah. actually. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's you know what that reminds me of? Evil Twin. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yes. I know. Yes. Beer, beer company. Yeah. It's a lot stronger, the Evil Twin. Yes. So this is this is that it's same flavour. more relaxed. This is, yes, it's more relaxed. It's those same flavours. It's the sweetness. And then it, it rolls into dryness. It's, it's quite clever, really. Um, it's lovely. And again, it's 10 out of 10 for me. It's 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> it's going all right tonight, isn't it, folks? Hey, yeah, cheers, darling. Right. Cheers. Right, two down. One to go. What have we got next, Emperor? Right, we're going to Ireland now to uh, a oh. guys called Gerbrood. Gerbrood. And this is Gerbrood Lupo Max Citra. Yeah. My brother knows I like a Citra. So I've got some I've got some bits over here, mate, yeah. to show the people at home, aren't I? Yeah. Because these are these new oh. uh, foundation kits, I think they're called. Yeah. And uh, they come with these three malt extracts. Now, the, these kits that I've been brewing come with all the same malt extract. Oh, premium liquid malt extract. Yeah. Okay. Then you get a bag with um, hops in. You can see that on the camera at all, but there we go. You get yeast in, and you get that little test tube there, bro. What, what does it say? So we've got a test tube says, uh, insonorized hop extract to create 40 IBUS. Uh, then we've got a little pouch that says Premium Series American West Coast yeah. Ale Yeast on this particular one. On this particular one. Um, but this, this is big secret. This is, a, this is a different brew to what here, but this yeah. is how it looks, sort of thing. This is and then there's a, there's a pack of hops and the, the yeah. details of the hops that goes with it. Hot tea bags are in there as yeah. well. So yeah. with all these kits, you dissolve the malt extract, you add your yeast, you let it brew, you dry it up, and it will turn out, probably going to be turning out the same colour because it's the same old extra. Yeah. It's just you've adjusted the bitterness with that little test tube. Yeah. Okie dokie then. Um, right then, let's have a uh, have a look at this fella. <laughs> nice amber is she colour, isn't it? Golden amber? Yeah, I would have expected a citrus to be maybe a little bit lighter than that, but... Fucking hell, not a huge punch on the nose than that, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you just swirl, you get a little bit more, but... <sighs> Right, we're going in. Going in. Cheers, Cheers. right. Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not quite what I was expecting. Don't forget, we'll just have four grain, par grain, it's got and we've gone down to one grain. Extra. Maybe we should start at the end. Yeah, maybe. But then. Um, it's, it's nice, it's cropped, there's totally nothing wrong with it whatsoever. I was just expecting a little bit more citra here. Yeah. For me, we had the, I think it was in April last time, um, they're all a bit similar. Maybe it's because the, it shares similar malt extract yeah, and then you're right. trying to add and, and make things. You, different things to make yeah. the beer kit different. Because this is kind of like a value beer kit, is it? Yeah, I can't remember how much are actually, if I'm honest, off the top of my head. Okay. Yeah, entry level kind of yeah. beer kit. I mean, it's perfectly fine, isn't it? It's good yeah. beer. Good beer. Oh, we're going to drink it. We're going to drink it. Drink that all day long, mate. I know? don't know if I'll get it again. Whereas I would obviously the bathrooms we have got again and, and the sunset ready if it doesn't go off limited edition or For me again. this is the sort of thing if if we spend a night in the DMP, yeah. this is the sort of thing you start yeah. your night on. Yeah. Have a couple of these before you get onto the sort of the more heavier, fruitier sort of stuff, yeah. sort of thing, yeah. yeah that, that's great. Great. Uh, uh, again, uh, not as good as those two, but it is a more extra. Yes. 
Um, I'll give it a nine. I'll go with him. I'm there. Just not quite the ten. It's not quite punching it for me. Mm. There you go then, Brad. There you go. Three days, two tens and a nine. And what do you want? I mean, you know, come on. Hey. Not bad, is it? It's hard work this thing. A bit of review and mirror here. Oh, I'm, I'm going to tell him what's coming. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> not him. He knows what's coming next. I'm going to tell you what's coming next. I wrote it on the board. Oh, you wrote it on the board. I read it. He's actually read it in something I've written this week as well. Good. Mountain's Coffee Porter. Yes. So it's, well, it's what it is then, it's Munton's Coffee Porter, isn't it? It's one of Munton's new ones, right? Okay, so okay. A, they've brought out a limited edition range as well. they bought out, I think, four tins. One of them, Coffee, coffee Porter. Porter. Lovely. Munton's Lazy Days, and then something else after it. IPA. Oh, yeah. That's another one of their four tins that they do. Okay. So you get four tins. Yeah. That they've brought out different yeah. flavours. They're all fancy tap room. Um, okay. Yes, I think I've seen them on the website. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you, you get one tin. You add your uh, obviously your malt extract um, enhancer as well. Now, I've just seen my bottom here. I think this might be for another friend of ours. Um, Dark Rock Newcastle Brown. Hi, Newcastle Brown. Man. <laughs> I don't. Know. I didn't, didn't know Chinese people lived in Newcastle, did you? <laughs> you say about Newcastle? So it was terrible. Well, it was. <laughs> Uh, yes, anyway. Yes, one of, my, one of our customer favourite drinks is Newcastle Brown. Yes. Uh, Dark Rock do it in the um, all grain kit. And I said, You buy it, I'll make it. And he did. And he did. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Um, if you are watching us anywhere else besides YouTube, head on over to YouTube. And, and if you like, and if you like us, hit that like button and subscribe. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. There will be a new video coming soon of our cellar. We've had a new installation. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, bro, but all beers are nice and chill today, even though it was mad rock outside. Yeah, yeah, you, you guys didn't have to wear any swear, uh, swearing when he was in the new cellar. <laughs> yeah, we'll be doing a video of that as well, and then there'll be some uh, uh, old cellar equipment going off sale as well. So. <laughs> well, there you go. You might, you might catch a bargain as well if you want to use a video. <laughs> right then, bro, is that about it for this evening? That's a lot. That's, I think that's about it, bro. That's bad enough, isn't it? Yeah, enough for you guys out there. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> right, until next time, it's goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from him. Huzzah! To the Queen! To the Queen! May long she reign! Ooh.